my boy Manila Pope here. We are back with another gaming review and this time it is with Oppo's new addition to their A series which is the Oppo A96. This is the successor of last year's A95 and it is packed with new features and also has some downgrades from the previous year. According to Oppo, this is a gaming smartphone so let's start testing its gaming performance. As always, in all of our gaming reviews, here are some quick specs. The display has a 6.59 inch Full HD Plus IPS LCD panel paired with a 90Hz refresh rate. A 50 megapixel dual camera setup. It is also powered by a Snapdragon 684G chipset with a 6 nanometer process paired with an Adreno 610 GPU. Our unit comes with 8GB of RAM with 5GB of RAM expansion and it is paired with a whopping 256GB of storage. It is backed with a 5000mAh of battery, 33W fast charging along with a reverse charging feature. Unlike its predecessor, this one doesn't come with an AMOLED panel, instead it is replaced by a 90Hz refresh rate. Even though the AMOLED panel is a more power efficient display, rather than an IPS with a 90Hz refresh rate, the chipset offers a smaller architecture. Later on, we will see its battery performance. Now let's begin our gaming tests. Let's start with MOBA games and first on our list is Mobile Legends. By default, refresh rate is already set to high along with high graphics quality, but we will set the graphics quality to ultra to fully maximize its capabilities. Upon opening the game, we are already experiencing a smooth 60fps performance. There are no frame drops or stuttering all throughout the game. I can pretty much say that I can play this game on this device without any issues. It is great especially in team fights since there are no frame drops occurring. So for Mobile Legends, with the max out settings, we get 60 FPS with 100% stability. Next is League of Legends Wild Rift. I noticed that on pretty much all the devices that I tested on and off the camera, upon opening League of Legends Wild Rift, this game always has a hard time optimizing the game's introduction. Heavy stuttering is always visible before you can get to the menu, although performance-wise inside the Rift is very different. For Wild Rift, our settings are set to 60 frames, super high graphics quality and resolution, plus high effects quality. Just like Mobile Legends, even with the bump up settings, performance is at constant 60 FPS. In heavy team fights, there are no visible frame drops or even stuttering. So we also get a stable 60 FPS along with a 100% stability. So overall, if you're playing competitively on both MOBA games, Oppo A96 will surely deliver. Now let's move forward to FPS games and start it off with Call of Duty Mobile. Graphics quality can be set to very high but unfortunately we can only go high for the frame rates. So let's test the low plus high frames. The gaming experience is good. We get a smooth performance with no frame drops or stuttering all throughout the match. Aiming down your sight is smooth and even explosions don't give out frame drops. For casual gamers, it is a good choice if you're looking to play competitively. So for Call of Duty Mobile with low graphics quality plus high frames, you get 45 to 50 FPS with 99% stability. Next is PUBG Mobile. In-game settings can only get to high frames if it is paired with smooth graphics quality. High frames are equivalent to 30 FPS which is quite a bummer since we can't fully utilize the 90Hz refresh rate. Although we still get stable gameplay upon landing, we stick with a low plus high frame since if we set it to balance, it can only be paired with medium frames. So with the low plus high frames, we get 34 to 37 FPS with 98% stability. 
Now, testing games from MiHoYo devs, first is Honkai Impact 3. Global display settings are set to quality by default, but we will set it to max settings to actually see it in a heavily loaded performance. Upon starting a mission, you can already see the performance drops. Although there are no drastic stuttering, but the frame drops are very visible. So if you are opting to play this game, might as well stick with the recommended settings and just adjust the frames to 60 FPS for a smoother performance. However, the device will start to build up heat. So with the max settings, we get about 27 to 35 FPS with around 94% stability. While with the recommended settings plus 60 frames, we get 40 to 45 FPS with 97% stability. Our last game for today is Genshin Impact. Playing Genshin on this device is quite decent. In-game settings are set to smooth, but we paired it with 60 frames. Although there are some frame drops from time to time, there are no visible stutterings. In combat, you will notice some minor performance drop, but I pretty much enjoyed the gaming experience. If you are opting to play this game as well, I would suggest looking for another device out there in the market that offers better performance. So with the smooth plus 60 frames turned on, we get about 30 to 35 FPS with 95% stability. Now for the Oppo A96 battery performance, we didn't record the performance of its battery in all our gaming tests due to internet problems. However, we did test its playback afterward. The 5000 mAh of the Oppo A96 offers us a 16 hours of playback for internet surfing, video streaming, and light gaming. If you are going to play non-stop, for us, battery life lasted about 6.5 hours. As for its charging, the 5000 mAh of battery paired with a 33 watts fast charging, it took us about 1 hour and 45 minutes to fully juice up the device, which is quite long for a 33 watts fast charging. Again, it can run a smooth gaming performance for Mobile Legends and League of Legends Wild Rift, acceptable performance for first person shooting games, but when it comes to MiHoYo Devs games, it is starting to struggle. So. For competitive gaming, it is surely a win but if you are looking to play a graphically demanding game, you will have a hard time enjoying those games on this device. So for the price of 15,999 pesos, those are the specs and gaming performance that you will get. I know there are a lot of smartphones in the market that offers more at less cost but let us know in the comments if you think this device is worthy to be in the gaming category. Thank you guys for watching, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you will be updated with our future contents. Also don't forget to visit manilashaker.com for more tech news, reviews, and comparison of the latest device. Once again, this is Pope and Mabuhay Manila!